This is the inside of a nerve. Each nerve contains thousands of individual nerve cells. These consist of a cell body and a long string-like structure called an axon. The cell body is in or very close to the spinal cord and the axon runs within the nerve to supply the target tissue. Each axon is protected by a myelin sheath made by a series of Schwann cells. Here, the axons are green and the Schwann cells pink. To the left is the spinal cord and to the right is the nerve's target tissue. Let's say the end of the finger. When your finger touches something, you can feel it because electrical signals are sent down the axon to the spinal cord and brain. Now, you cut your finger badly and the nerve is severed. At this point, the end of your finger is numb. The portions of the axons that are connected to the end of the finger have lost their connection with their cell body in the spinal cord and can't survive. This part of the axon will die along with its myelin sheath. The dead remains are broken down and cleared away by immune cells. But part of the nerve structure known as connective tissues and the Schwann cells still remain. The injured axons can grow back. As part of this process, the end of each axon sprouts into a number of branches. Some of these sprouts may find their way across the injury site into special channels in the remaining stump, formed by Schwann cells and the connective tissue. These provide both physical and chemical guidance for regenerating axons. The axon will then grow quite slowly until it reaches its target, the end of your finger. The feeling will then return. Sprouts that do not manage to cross the injury site and grow back to the target may die, but others can remain. In some cases, these may generate spontaneous electrical signals that can lead to the development of abnormal sensations and in some cases chronic pain.